so in the previous uh, uh, this video we have already covered how we can integrate our page objects into action modules okay in the module uh, modularize a way we can access our uh, this uh, suppose the login method is there there is a, a registration method is there okay so all all are the web elements are clubbed into one single methods okay so we are modularizing all these actions right now let's see how we can access it in a test class okay this is my main methods that is fine now i have the test okay so for the test let me just go through that user registration so we have created and we have accessed it through objects here we have not initialized any driver right let's uh, let's initialize the driver first okay so for that let me create one more class because you can see all the things are here is kind of clumsy right so let's create one uh, base page or test base and within that we'll be creating all the objects and all for the browsers yes yes but we have not initialized and we have not provided anything right because when you just declared it it is it would be null right you need to assign the value yep we need to initialize the value how to do that we need to create object of the chrome driver or firefox driver right so let's create test base okay so if i create the test base first thing we'll be doing here is I'll create one method okay what's the method name method name is public void uh, init browser any name browser initialization okay fine and here what i'll be doing is i'll say browser name okay browser name any any name suppose i am writing here chrome okay something like that so what i'll be writing if browser name dot contains equals okay what i write contain equals chrome then what else i need to write i need to write this thing system dot set property okay set property and the key i need to write over here like web driver dot chrome or driver right and the uh, and the value and the path of that uh, web driver okay uh, i i think i don't have any uh, web driver right now so let me just download one and we'll assign those value here okay 
and we'll, we'll put uh, those uh, drivers over here in, in our framework itself. We have already created one uh, resources, right? And uh, within on, under the resources, we have a driver. So we'll be putting all the driver over here. So, so let's download one driver, Chrome driver, IE driver, any driver that you want, okay? Go to Selenium HQ. Okay, and go to download. Okay, and here you can see uh, latest version of Chrome. Chrome 2.38. Okay, this is the latest one. Uh, go to Chrome Drive 132 and it will be downloaded. It. Yes. Uh, okay. Wait. Then we have IE also. Let's say Geek also. Geek driver. Uh, if it is a Windows Geek driver, Windows 64 bit. And for I, Internet Explorer driver should be, I think, here. Okay, so where is that? Mozilla Firefox, Windows Phone, Android, iOS. This is Microsoft Edge, right? And Internet Explorer, where it is. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we'll do for two. Uh, just extract here. Let's extract this one. Okay, and let copy and paste here in this driver. And in that one also, Chrome also need to be Let's put this. Okay, you can see both are present over here. So the value would be, what would be the value? You can see, uh, we can directly put something like that. System dot get, get property. Okay, if I get property and within that user dot directory, user dot dir. So what it will do? So basically, what it will do? It will uh, reference to here this project directory till src. Okay, wherever you have uh, you know taken this, uh, you have. Uh, store your framework, your project, maybe C drive, D drive, E drive, so it doesn't matter. It will 
reference till here project then you need to provide src main java this these things okay so now we are in this so again we need to write this src test java fine yeah you can you can but it would be like a hard coded right src main we don't want any hard coded the framework should be something like that if you give to someone so he he should be able to run it with minimal changes our resources then driver okay or one more thing you can do instead of putting all the uh, things you can put uh, all the things all the paths and all in a in a separate file yes separate pro not property file in a, a constant file okay make all the path as a constant that would be good we'll do that chrome driver dot exe all right now what do we need to do we need to write web driver driver equals to new new chrome driver right new chrome driver and let me put this thing outside of that yes yes from anywhere we can access it okay which one this one want to write for all browsers that we have right suppose we have for mobile for anything so or grid etc we have mozilla same way we need to write okay let me just copy okay set driver web driver instead of chrome we need to write gecko right and the property instead of this exe we will be writing gecko driver right and instead of this firefox what we need to write is a uh, chrome firefox firefox uh, driver okay this one fine mm, again then yep and else if if we have dot contain equals i browser then we need to write for i Okay, instead of this, I need to write I. Internet.
Internet Explorer और I driver server okay we need to put uh, that here i driver server then instead of uh, this i need to write internet explorer driver okay now we are done with the setup so what it will do it will basically return the web driver so we need to return the web driver from here yes return the driver so instead of void when you try to web driver because it's a return type is a driver one second i have missed one more bracket okay okay yes you mean to say uh, you need to write here hmm? mm, internet so here yes yes here also it is fine if you write uh, return driver okay that would be fine and here also would be fine here would be fine but the why we don't use it because okay once you will give the browser name as a chrome or id ie or whatever right so once you have given that Mm, browser name it will automatically will come over here right suppose there is a scenario you have given only for chrome okay so now driver is null okay before uh, coming to here this line first would be driver will be null then or i can put the null as well okay so driver is null then once it comes to here this chrome okay it will set this uh, and it will it will be true like uh, browser is equal to chrome yes it is and it will go here okay and it will instantiate this chrome driver right and now chrome driver has been instantiated initialized okay and it will not go here and here and here right with mozilla i because the browser is this chrome it will not go all these things okay once this driver equals to chrome driver okay it is being initialized definitely we can return outside of this if we return here we are not going here right within this uh, conditional block so definitely we will come out of this uh, loop Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, in this conditional block, if block, okay. So here, from here, we can return this driver value. Fine. Yep. So this is done. Uh, then what else? Okay. So browser instantiates instantiation is done. So instead of writing this, what I can write is. I can extend extend test base 
Okay, if I write this, I don't need to because all the value present they are. Second. Okay, import it. Okay. Just remove it. And uh, these things we don't need here. Okay. So what we can do, or maybe for the time being, let, let it be here. Okay. So what I can do, I'll be writing other at before method before test before test also you can write all right public void setup okay the setup method is there so what it will do let me import this Okay, once this is being imported here, yeah, I should be able to call this method, right? This init browser, right? So what I can write, init browser, just call this method. We don't have to create any object there, all right? Because it's extended, right? So we don't have to. Yep. Correct, correct. Okay, and let's say one private driver, private driver, web driver, and it will return one web driver, right? So let it be, and I can put this driver in here. Uh, in before here i can put this thing right because the driver i know all right one second, one second. make it private uh yes so which one In it browser. Yes, uh, I need to pass a driver instance into this particular classes, right? And in, in, in into this uh, classes that we have that uh, needs a browser instance, right? So that's why once I get the browser from here in it browser method, I'll be storing one variable in a private and that Yes, yes, it is a turning web driver. Okay, so that web driver need to be passed here. Okay, so in here it is also giving some error because it need to be global. HM. Okay, slowly, slowly we'll uh, you know mm, modify it accordingly. Fine. You can see now we are good with this, right? Okay, it will first uh, what it will uh, do, it will first init the browser because it is in be before uh, test. Okay, init the browser and initialize the home pages. Okay, and again, then it will go to this particular login and all. So for that, what I need to do is, let's see, mm, all set, all set, this is all set. 
Okay. Uh, let's run it. Let's see if it is working fine or not. You should open a Chrome browser, right? <laughs> Uh, there is some error. Why? Okay. Yeah, there is. Uh, okay, so there was some uh, version issue of the jars. Okay, so that will be fixed. And now let's go ahead and create. Uh, I'll be writing for log 4 j we need to uh, integrate the log 4 j right to log all and every action that we perform we need to log those as well okay for that what we need to do is let's have one property file okay within this uh, project folder Okay, so what I'll be saying log for j dot properties. Or you can write XML as well. All right, I have some value of it how to use. Okay just paste it here okay and this is done okay and you need to provide the log file where you need to uh, write your log so we had one folder in test resource i believe yes in log 4 j so what i'll be creating yes so what i'll be creating here is one file this is a log file, right? You can see, you can see log file name. Yeah. Log file dot log. Okay. So everything will be written there. So I need to provide the path of that how i can give i need to provide like this src test resources log 4 j slash log file yes okay now fine right Okay, fine. SRC test resources log for the log file dot log. Okay, so what it will do, it will write all the things over here. And this is for console. In console also, you can see uh, the logs, and this is for file. Okay, in in file that file, you can get all these things. Uh, not in browser it will interact uh, we will be calling these properties in in our uh, test based class okay like uh, let me say in test base let me have one thing called before suit before running the suit that will be okay public
be forced to try cancer. Because we need to do a lot of thing in, in before suit, like extend report uh, and all, all the thing will be initialized over here. Okay, so before suit method, within that, what I will be writing is, okay, we put this thing, Okay, here what I need to write is property configurator, this thing. Okay. And here, uh, the path you need to provide this path, log for jitter property. Yes, yes. Log for J dot properties. Okay. So one second. Log for J dot properties properties and you need to import this okay and it is coming from log for j jar okay once you yes property configurator so basically it is reading the uh, things that we have already assigned externally in a file right in a property file we have defined like uh, like the these are the properties of this log file where it should be stored and how many MB maximum size of that file should be and what uh, what should be the pattern of printing our logs okay and where where it should be saved etc right so here we'll be reading that property file and that's it okay and then again you need to use our property file how to use this this is the syntax for that okay every class for every class what you need to do is you need to write like this logger okay logger 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 log then get logger and the class name you need to file pass something like that just import this and it should be apache log for j okay you can see and this log you can write here something like this log dot info okay Chrome browser is initialized, okay? And same thing we can write for others. Try to make it as a private so that it would be within this class only. And then this is Chrome, this is Mozilla, and the same thing for Internet Explorer. Wherever you want to write anything, you can just call this log.info, log there. A lot of methods available within that. Is initialized okay so same thing like uh, in any class if you want to use this so
So what do you have to do? Suppose I want to use in user registration page as well. So what you have to do is you have to just first line should be this. Okay, and you need to press pass the this thing. It's class name. All right. Just write log dot info. Okay, and just write anything. Executing what you can say, um, executing before test. The protest method, all right, and uh, anything, anything you want to write, you can write here log log dot executing test. Okay, something like that. So it will print something in in the console and a file as well. Right. So this is how you can uh, use a log for j for all the classes that we have. We have already uh, in here in the registration in the home page. We have not used log for j yet, right? So for the now, uh, one second. Now we can use log for j. Just copy, paste, and just put this thing. Okay, and now you can use this logger. Instead of system.out.println, why, why we use uh, log instead of system.out.println? Correct. So the uh, in, in log file it will be saved, and one more disadvantage with this is it is uh, within the console, right? Once we uh, done with our execution, once we run another test, everything in the console will be gone. Okay, we cannot uh, retain all these messages. Right. So that is why we use log force. Okay, so okay now log for the dot info is done. Okay, so this is how log for the can be integrated. Just you know, in the first line, just write this line and call all the method. Fine. This is how it will do. And then the next session, what we'll be doing in the test based class, we'll uh, initialize everything. This one. Okay, this thing should be in test blessed class. Okay, and then we'll sure we'll do it in the next class. Uh, this thing and uh, that uh, extend report will be doing in the next class. Okay.